Broadcasting live from the land of 10,000 lakes, your official guide to the Northwest Metro, the food, the people, the entertainment, and of course, the latest real estate news. Welcome to the Northwest Metro Real Estate Report. And now your host, a licensed realtor specializing in new construction, helping build new communities in the Northwest Metro, Amanda Galindo. Hey guys, it's Amanda Galindo here with Progressive Builders and I am at CrossFit St. Michael for our January Northwest Metro Real Estate Report and I'm super excited to be sitting here with Jackie. Joel is actually out training somebody um, in the box. That's what we call the gym. <laughs> um, and I'm excited for a couple different reasons. Um, I personally have been a member of CrossFit here in St. Mike St. Michael since um, Cinco de Mayo. May 5th, if you don't know what that means. <laughs> um, and I've loved it. I, I played competitive sports my whole life. And um, I was kind of looking for the, the gym where I could connect with people. And there's a community that um, you can connect with that supports you. You're still competitive, not with other people, but more with yourself. And um, I love that about CrossFit. Um, and I personally, I was actually scared um, to come. I looked at a couple of the videos and I was freaked out. I'm like, eh, I don't want to look like one of those like big bulky women, <laughs> which I kind of already am, but I just need to like <laughs> tone it down. But, um, you know, it's, it's really not about that. I think for me, it's more personal. Um, it's mental, emotional. And then the physical thing is physical um, benefits is a, a side um, benefit of coming to CrossFit. So thank you, Jackie, for taking yeah. the time to um, be here and uh, I just want to learn a little bit more about you and let everybody know why it's so awesome and why I love being a part of CrossFit. So can you tell me a little bit about you and Joel, where are you guys from? Are you from the area? Yeah, well um, now, yes, but actually I grew up in Madison, Wisconsin okay. and um, ended up getting a college hockey scholarship at St. Cloud State. So I migrated north and um, I have lived in Minnesota ever since 2003. Um, Joel grew up in a small town, um, just out, well, part Litchfield and then Silver Lake. Um, and he and the rest of his big family and his seven brothers and two sisters live all of in the area as well. Awesome. So Cool. So you went to St. Cloud. Did you live up there for a while and then moved down to St. Michael? Yeah. So um, after college, lived in St. Cloud um, for a little while and then kind of outgrew that like college town and and wanted to move a little bit closer to Minneapolis, but still be in that small town. Um, yes. Yeah. Cool. So um, a lot of people, there's a lot of misconceptions about CrossFit. I see it. Sometimes I see some negative stuff, sometimes posit more positive than negative. But can you yeah. tell people kind of what is CrossFit in, um, in, the, yeah. in a nutshell? Yeah. <laughs> so... To, to touch on both of those um, questions, one, the negative stuff, you know, all CrossFit gyms are independently owned. So when people kind of ask me about that, you know, I really can't control what other CrossFit facilities are doing. We can only control what, what we do here. Yeah. And um, we feel that we take a very safety first approach to things. Um, and that leads to, um, you know, what we feel is preventing injuries um, in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. So realistically, like when we can teach somebody how to squat properly or how to uh, properly lift something heavy off of the ground, which, you know, translates into your everyday life. That could be, you know, a heavy bag of groceries or in my case, dog food. Um, and really like learning to do those things well and correctly could prevent you from throwing your back out or having a knee or hip replacement. So we see CrossFit as a very safe thing to do if taught properly. Mm -hmm. Um and then, you know, the flip side of like, what is CrossFit? Well, um, the very technical definition is it's constantly varied functional movements done at a high intensity. So, but really like what I tell people is that CrossFit is, is fitness for life. Yep. So when, when we ask a lot of our members or members give us feedback, um, they really tell us like CrossFit makes their everyday life more enjoyable and easier. Like they're able to, they talk about improved relationships with their spouses or being able to be a more active parent because they don't get winded or they have lots more energy to keep up with their kids and play with them. And mm -hmm. um, even just like carrying laundry up your stairs, 
um, or down the stairs, like all that stuff becomes easier when you're in shape. So what we're after is improving overall quality of life. Um, and obviously by taking a safety first approach, um, we don't push people to go beyond their means because injury doesn't do anybody good. It doesn't improve your overall quality of life. Right. And that's really what we're after. And yeah. so again, we don't really focus on what other CrossFit gyms are doing because they're all ran differently. We just try to focus on being the best coaches that we can and provide the best service to our members. Yeah. And I actually, I personally see that all the time when there's new members and even with myself, I remember when you, um, we were doing some like squatting and. And I, you wouldn't let me do more than just the bar. And I'm like, oh, I want to do more. But then it's like, <laughs> you know, focusing on just the movement and making sure that you're doing it properly. Because a lot of times, you know, you see videos all the time, like of yeah. people at the gym, like lifting really weird and random. So, um, yeah. and even with some of the newer people that come in, you know, I see Joel in the morning too, not letting them lift super heavy, working yeah. more on the technique versus Absolutely. trying to lift like a crazy person. Yeah. And I think that that's the misconception that I see, um, that I hear from other people is that they, you know, lift Olympic weights and they don't know what they're doing. And that's, I just think it's a bunch of BS, but <laughs> another story. So yeah, we always make sure that people have good mechanics before. So obviously when I talked about that technical definition and that CrossFit is function movements at high intensity, um, we really don't focus on that high intensity piece until you have good mechanics. Right. And you know, everyone's learning curve is a little bit different. So that might take one person, you know, a few weeks and another person a few months. And that's fine. You know, that's mm -hmm. like the beauty of CrossFit is that, um, yeah, it's ultra fun. You're working out with a group, but at the same time, it's about you. Right. So yeah, sure. It can get a little bit competitive, but I think like you said, that most people find that they're competing to within themselves, right. You know, to improve themselves. Um, so yeah. Cool. So how long have you been doing CrossFit? I, or how did you get into, and how did you get into CrossFit? Yeah, sure. So I've been doing CrossFit since 2008. Um, it's kind of a really weird story. Um, you know, my boyfriend at the time watched 300. Have you seen that movie before? Yes. Okay, <laughs> That's so, my, one of my boyfriends is in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you and me both. Okay. So at the time, like, the, he was trying to figure out, like, how did these guys, like, look so cut, and what were they doing, and so... Um, you know, during like the credits or something, he stumbled upon, um, Jim Jones, which is a version, um, kind of plays off of CrossFit. So a little research and, you know, at the time he was still playing college hockey. So I felt like I was his guinea pig and, <laughs> and he was like, Hey, like try these workouts out. Like, let me know how it goes. And for me, like I was instantly addicted because when I finished, um, hockey, my whole life I had trained for, you know, I, I worked out to be better at hockey. Yeah. And then when that was over, it's like. What are you training for? What am I working out for? Yeah. You know, so it kind of like for me, um, it's kind of revitalized my workouts in the sense it gave me purpose. Mm -hmm. So I love CrossFit because every day I leave feeling with like a feeling of accomplishment. Yeah. Um, it's constantly reassuring. It gives you constant feedback on your progress and everything is measurable, whether it's finally being able to do push-ups on your toes or adding five or 10 pounds to your back squat, you're constantly getting that feedback. And for me, that's really motivating knowing that when I'm putting the time in and the hard work in that I'm getting results. Yeah. You know, like I kind of went through that stage when I was done playing hockey, like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to randomly do this and this. And there was no purpose. It was like, sure, 15 pounds and do some bent over rows. But um, for me, it was just so lethargic and boring, mm -hmm. and my workouts just really were lackluster. And then, um, so yeah, so then I watched the movie 300 and, and <laughs> uh, started started uh, kind of being the guinea pig for some of these CrossFit workouts and fell in love and was yeah. instantly addicted. And then I started, um, at the time, I was also training younger hockey players, mm -hmm. um, all the, you know, middle school all the way through high school. And that's how I started training people with the CrossFit methodology was actually kids. And mm -hmm. then... Um, down the road, um, a lot of parents kept asking us for advice and we're like, why are we just training kids? Um, I absolutely love what I do. And so then, um, we opened or I helped open, um, CrossFit Fast Factory in St. Cloud. That was back in 2011. Coached there for a little bit. Um, I had an itch to move out to Colorado. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to learn to snowboard and do some other things. And I did. So I moved out to Colorado. I actually worked with a CrossFit affiliate out there. Mm -hmm. Moved back here and uh, mentioned to my friend, like, hey, I want to open up my own affiliate and asked for um, their help. And that's how we came to be in St. Michael. And how long have you guys been here in St. Michael? We just had our one-year anniversary in September. So just a little over a year now. 
And we have a packed gym in the morning, I know. So Yeah, everybody loves that 5.30 yeah. a.m. class. Just to get it done with. That's yeah. my opinion. <laughs> so to get it done with. Oh, I'm always amazed. You know, I can't personally function and work out <laughs> that early in the morning, but I'm always amazed when people can. So Oh, funny. Um, so when people first come here, um, what can they expect? Yeah, you know, I think... Most of the time, what you can expect is to be greeted by a friendly face. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, we're not a typical gym where everybody has their headphones on, is like on a treadmill staring at a TV. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people come to CrossFit for like the social aspect of it. So when you walk in our door, you're probably going to be greeted by five, ten people, um, smiling faces, everyone's really welcoming. Uh, the other part to that is you can expect to see people of all different abilities. Mm -hmm. So... We have everyone that, you know, from people that have never worked out a day in their life to people that have been doing CrossFit for, you know, a year or two. So mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, um, like we kind of touched on before, it's about you and your journey. So mm -hmm. um, come, enjoy a class, check it out, but you're, you know, it's going to be a sociable thing. So you have to kind of um, be embrace that community feeling. And um, that's one of the big reasons why I love my job so much is that community. And, and when I'm coaching people, I feel like it's family yeah so no I agree um, let's see we already touched on that one so, so there's some terms that people always say like the box <laughs> yeah. um, what are some of the other ones that we always say that people might not know what they are and they're like well what the heck is the box or a wad or a PR sure, <laughs> sure. yeah so um, you know just starting with the the first one wad mm -hmm. a lot of people have no idea what that stands for and it just simply stands for workout of the day mm -hmm. so if you hear one of the members refer referencing wad it just down stands for the workout that we're doing that day um, PR stands for personal record um, we have a PR board here so that people can write up their accomplishments um, a couple other ones would be you know some of the Olympic lifts when people are talking about cleans no, they're not talking about cleaning their house. Uh, they're talking about an Olympic lift, as well as like snatches um, referred to an Olympic lift that takes the bar from the ground to overhead in one fluid movement. Um, AMRAP, as many rounds as possible in a designated amount of time. EMOM, mm -hmm. um, every minute on the minute. Uh, <laughs> it's like a million of them. I mean, I could keep I probably going, still don't know all of them, but yeah. I mean, I... I think the biggest ones, you know, like the, the AMRAP and the EMOM and those ones are some, sometimes you see them, you know, outside of CrossFit, but when you first come to CrossFit and you're part of it, you're like, what the heck is this? Yeah. Someone's talking and you kind of act like, you, you know, come talking again? about, you're like, <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, funny. So when you guys decided to open up your CrossFit, um, what was it that made you decide St. Michael? Because we're just, we're in yeah. a perfect location, just right off of 94, off of 241. So for me, I actually live in Monticello. It's super easy for me to get here. I'm from the back roads, but a lot of the members either are coming from Rogers or they're coming from St. Michael. So what is it that you like about St. Michael? Yeah, for me, when we were looking at um, where we should open up our CrossFit, it was kind of a, a big decision because I thought of it as a place um, that obviously I'm going to spend... Um, not the rest of my life, who knows, but a, a good chunk of time. So for me, it was, um, where do I want to raise a family? Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, St. Michael has a phenomenal reputation for a good school district and school system. So, um, it's maybe as strange as that might sound to some people, that was definitely top of my mind is where do I want to live and where do I want to start a family? So for Joel and I, um, we really decided that, um, St. Michael was perfect because I love it mainly because if we want to go to, a, you know, we're big sports fans. If we want to go to a twins game or a wild game, it's only 30, 40 minutes away, uh, maybe a little bit longer, but, um, for us, we're not big city people. Mm -hmm. So as much as we love sports, we kind of wanted to be outside of the city. Um, I really like the small town feel tight knit community kind of everybody knows your name kind of a place. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of also like what I feel like we've created inside of CrossFit St. Michael, um, Albertville is that um, kind of a community within a community. And I think a lot has to do with um, the community that's kind of already been established in St. Michael where everybody is really friendly and supportive. And um, we just wanted to embrace that and, and bring that within our CrossFit. And that's kind of what we were looking for. Cool. Um, 
So yeah. Awesome. So um, how can people find you? And do you have any upcoming um, classes or like where can people go to check you out? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, a good place to start would be our website, www.crossfitstma.com. Lots of information, poke around on there. Um, but we also have, so if you're kind of on the fence and you're not quite sure if CrossFit is right for you uh, and or you're maybe just looking to try a, a high intensity program or heck, maybe you've never worked out a day in your life and you want to finally get back in shape. We have a our next boot camp, which will be CrossFit SMA Boot Camp 8.0, starts on January 12th. Um, if you sign up before the first, you actually save $20. And you can find all of that information right on our website. We're also on Facebook. Um, you can search CrossFit STMA. And we post daily blogs. Our daily workout blog is on there. Um, some other interesting articles as well. Awesome. So um, is there anything else that you want to let people know about CrossFit STMA? You know, the best thing that I can say is you just have to come check it out. Mm -hmm. um, I could probably talk till I'm blue in the face, but... Um, Give us a call or shoot us a, a, an email, staff at CrossFitSTMA.com to really just schedule an intro session and, and come in and just see what we're all about. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. This is the Northwest Metro Real Estate Report for January 2015. Um, get into CrossFit. You know, fulfill those New Year's resolutions. I actually started in May, and I am super glad that I decided to do it. And um, you know, if you're listening to this before January 1st, don't wait until um, January 1st to get things started. Um, and if you have any real estate needs and new construction needs, make sure you give me a call or check me out on Facebook. Thanks.